with the Kremlin apologist leaving the post that Slovakia both threatened the country's support for Ukraine. Robert Fico, leader of MSMER party left and the progressive Slovakia party leader Mi Michal Simeka or seen on the TV screen during the televised debate last week. CNN Slovaks have been voting in a live edge parliamentary election on Saturday that could radically reshape Slovakia's approach to Ukraine and create a deep rift within NATO and the European Union. The front-runner former Prime Minister Robert Fico has made no secret of his affinity for the Kremlin during the election campaign. He has criticized the West for supporting Ukraine and adopted the strong anti-US message, even accusing Slovakia's President Zuzana Kaptova of being an American agent. He has said that if elected, he would stop sending weapons to Ukraine and block Ukraine's NATO ambitions. On election day, Fico accompanied his mother to the poll in the capital, Bratislava. He told the reporters that he wants to see that Slovakia not be run by amateurs and the bombs without experience, so they won't drag us into adventures, whether it's migration or military. Fico's left-wing populist SMER party has been leading for months, although opinion polls published earlier this week showed SMER neck and neck with the progressive Slovakia party. The Liberals PS party led by the EU Parliament Vice President Michel Smeka is pushing for the completely different future for Slovakia. That one, one that includes the continued strong support for Kiev and the strong links with the West. Whatever happens in this election, whatever, whatever government comes out comes out of this election, we will continue to support Ukraine," Smeka told the reporters outside the polling station. Experts said that misinformation and Russian propaganda has become prominent during the election campaign, with the social media companies criticized for not doing enough to stop it. Slovakia has been chosen by Russia as the country where there is a fertile, fertile so, for success of the Russian pro Kremlin, pro war narratives, the Vic Vera Jurova, the European Commission's top digital affairs official, told the news conference Tuesday. She said the election was the test case on the power of social media and the misinformation. The approach to Russia war in Ukraine is the divisive line in the election, she said. Coalition likely, with either of the two parties could end end up winning the election. According to the polls, neither is likely to secure the majority that would allow them to form the government on their own. With and many line parties potentially reaching the five percent threshold needed to enter the parliament, coalition negotiations would almost certainly include multiple players and could be long and messy. It is also far from certain that the leader of the Vigist party will become the prime minister. Hilas, a party that was formed as the uh, offshoot of SMER fo following an internal deputy between Fico loyalist and, uh, and uh, then prime minister Peter Pegrini was polling third in the last and could turn out to be a kingmaker. Pegolini became prime minister in 2018 after Fico resigned following weeks of protest in the wake of the murder of investigative journalist Jan Kusiak and his fiancée Martina Kusnirova. But opinion polls suggest that neither Fico nor Smeka were likely to have enough seats to form the government with just the class and will have to bring in more coalition parties. 
Bitcoin has also not ruling, ruled out working with the Repo Republic, an extremist far-right party which claims that the war in Ukraine is the consequences of NATO's expansion towards Russia and Kiev's aggression towards the Russian minority in western eastern Ukraine. P.S. Miwide is most likely to quote the Christian Democratic KDH party, the River Freedom and the Solidarity Party or the coalition grouping formed around the center center right ordinary people and independent personalities party o l a n o won the last election in 2020 but each government collapsed following the series of scandals and infighting ps said in each manifesto that ukraine deserves to all the humanitarian financial diplomatic and military help it needs to succeed succeed against the Russian aggression, not another round of ammunition for Ukraine. Pico is proven both to win a populist with a strong voter base. He has won parliament elections three times in the past, including in 2012 when she, he secured an absolute majority, the first and only time any party has managed that since the 1980s. Nine revolution. His potential return to power could have serious consequences for the region. Slovakia is a member of both NATO and the European Union and has been one of the Kiev's staunchest allies. He was among the handful of European countries pushing for top EU sanctions against Russia and has donated a large num amount of military equipment to Ukraine. But this would likely change under FICO, who has blamed the Ukrainian Nazis and the fascists for provoking Russia's president Vladimir Putin into launching the invasion, repeating the first narrative Putin has used to justify his invasion. FICO has called on the Slovak government to stop applying weapons to Kiev and said that if he were to become prime minister, Slovakia would not send an, or another round of ammunition. He, also, he is also opposed to Ukraine joining NATO. While in opposition, Pico has also became, become a close ally of Hungary's prime minister Viktor Orban. Especially when it comes to criticism of the European Union, if Fico wins, he and Orban would gang up together and create obstacles for Brussels. If Poland's governing law and justice party manages to win a third term in Polish parliamentary elections next month, this block of EU troublemakers could become even stronger.